Welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to build a parallelogram baby gate. The first steps were pretty easy. I had made out a plan and I just need to cut the pieces to the appropriate lengths. I laid out the pieces to get a sense for what the gate would look like. I didn't really like the spacing of the vertical pieces. I thought they were too far apart. The design of the gate got me thinking about two chairs I had seen, one by George Nakashima and the other by Frank Lloyd Wright. I found a picture of each chair online and then used GIMP to take some measurements. In the end, I decided to make the gate with proportions similar to that of the Frank Lloyd Wright design. The vertical pieces were already the width that I wanted, but they were too thick, so I decided to rip them in half. This would also double the number of pieces I had, so I wouldn't have to go back to the store and buy more stock. Next, I hand planed each piece. This was very time consuming, but I thought it was worth it because it gave them all a very nice finish, and it also allowed me to dial in the exact thickness of each piece. I again laid out the pieces so I could get a sense for how the design would look. This also gave me a chance to check that the gate would be able to move up and down to the angles I needed it to. The horizontal parts are actually two pieces screwed together. This forms a kind of sandwich around the vertical pieces. I wanted to add a slight curve to the ends of the top horizontal piece. I did this with the hand plane and then refined the shape with the card scraper. The horizontal pieces each need a groove for the ends of the vertical pieces to fit into. I did this with repeated cuts of the table saw. Good. Fit. I wind the slot at one end since the vertical piece that fits here needs to be thicker so it can support all the weight of the gate on the wall side. The horizontal and vertical pieces are held together with pins to allow them to pivot at this connection point. I made a simple guide to help me accurately drill these holes, which I did at my new drill press. The holes in the thin vertical pieces need to be very accurately drilled too, so I set up a simple jig for this. The horizontal and vertical pieces are held together with a bunch of these brass pins. I didn't want to cut them all with the hacksaw since I thought that would be pretty time consuming, so I decided to see if I could use the table saw to cut these. It actually works pretty well and I made another video showing my experiences with cutting metal at the table saw. The pieces were pretty rough on the end so I chucked them up in the drill press and then used a file to round them over. I did a test fitting of some of the pieces and I was actually pleasantly surprised that everything fit well together and, and moved easily. I guess I shouldn't have been surprised because I planned things out pretty well, but uh, it's always a little bit nerve wracking when you have something that's pretty complicated. One end of the baby gate attaches directly to the wall and the other needs to move freely. This end is going to be held in these brackets. I didn't film making these pieces, but it was relatively straightforward, just cutting out the pieces on the table saw, making the curve at the scroll saw, and then doing a little light sanding. The next step was cutting mortises for the hinges that the gate would be swinging on. On one side I could do this at the table saw because the width of the piece was the same as the width of the hinge. On the other side I had to do the mortise by hand, but this wasn't too difficult either. I used brass screws to attach the hinges, which you have to be a little bit more careful with than steel. Brass is much softer than steel, so it's easier to strip the screws or shear off the heads. To prevent this, I drilled slightly larger holes than normal. I drove a steel screw in uh, before the brass screw to try to widen out the hole a little bit and uh, make the grooves for the threads. And I coated the brass screws with wax before I drove them in. The vertical piece that attaches to the wall carries all the weight of the gate, so the connection point between this piece and the rest of the gate needs to be especially strong. To accomplish this, I used thicker stock for the pin, and I made the pin go all the way through the pieces rather than just being captured inside the horizontal pieces. I first drilled a slightly undersized hole with a regular drill bit, 
and then I used a reamer made from the pin material itself to get the hole to the exact size. After test fitting the gate, I completely disassembled it and applied three coats of shellac with a pad. It was really easy to hang the pieces up to dry since every single piece had a hole in it, so I could just nail a whole bunch of nails into some boards and hang them up on the wall. After letting the shellac cure, I added a coat of paste wax, which I hadn't used before, but worked really well. It gave it a nice even sheen and kind of smoothed out any imperfections. At this point I was almost done. I just needed to reassemble the gate to get it ready to install. I'm really happy with the way the gate turned out. It was a lot of work, it, it took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take, but it ended up being totally worth it because it works great. It's a lot more stable and secure than a gate that you would buy from the store. I like how easy it is to latch, you can do it with one hand. I like that you can go down the stairs and easily move it out of the way. You can go up the stairs and move it out of the way. Overall it's just a great design and if you need a baby gate, I would suggest making one like this. One detail I added afterwards was making a bracket to hold the gate against the wall. This keeps the gate out of the way when it's not needed and it makes it look nice too since it holds the gate at the same angle as the stairs. I want to say a special thank you to Matthias for designing this baby gate and sharing it with everybody on YouTube. That's one of the things I really love about YouTube is finding other people's creative designs and then um, taking that inspiration and, and making it my own. So thanks Matthias. There's a lot more that went into this project than I could put into a short video, so I have a much longer video in the description below. Click that if you'd like to see like the complete version of, of how I made this baby gate. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time. Take care.